Maybe on that Echo, of course. See, I was about to say Joji, of course. You know, whereas JJ here has Mercy. Already hopping on the point. Echo looking for, for some opportunities, getting some, some shots in. Gonna lose the Mercy pretty quick off. Dorbino at least being able to, to get their healer in turn. Dorbino trying to track down that Tracer, getting those shots in on the enemy group. Jovan Flint seems to be a little staggered here as they look for angles. Dorbino with a really nice shield, really trying to keep the enemies suppressed. Jovan Flint looking and establishing some dominance. Dorbino, nice, nice kill on Courage there. Maybe. One of the last Yovan Flint players on point. As Yovan Flint begins to crumble a little bit here. Maybe fighting the good fight. Dorbino on that. Oh, and there goes the Zarya. Dorbino popping off. Solid moves from U of M Flint getting that capture and establishing a solid move for the payload. Toxic, uh, this Paladins update actually uh, is not Paladins. Uh, so it's, it's Overwatch, if you didn't know already. Unfortunately, Joji overextending a little bit and that... Uh, that enemy's gonna gonna pick her right out. Yovan Flint getting pushed back by an absolutely massive offense. That Junker Queen playing a big, big role into this push. Pixel putting in some work, but quickly overwhelmed. As Yovan Flint regroups with Biedrich here as the secondary healer Dorbino moving in really trying to counterplay that Lucio is going to be so oppressive. Jovan Flint having to pull back once again. Maybe caught out. Joji also caught out. And Jovan Flint has to make an effort to regroup here. Dorbino with an extremely important solo alt there. Really trying to just get the enemy carry out of the way. And that enemy Lucio is going to be kind of focused on. As Dorbino pushes right into the tip of the spear. Jovan Flint moving that payload. Getting awfully close to the checkpoint. And expecting an enemy offense. Here comes that Tracer ult. Doji with the ultimate. Rez on Pixel. Darbino. Big damage down. Maybe popping off. As U of M Flint looks like they're going to push onto this checkpoint. And there's the checkpoint as Dorbino continues to harass the enemy front line. Big damage, but also really absorbing a lot of that. Really, really solid front line by Dorbino here. 
Maybe with the poke. Really important. And that flank is going to cost you of them Flynn a little bit of a little bit of time, but it seems like it doesn't matter. Dorbino destroying that front line and continuing to keep that payload moving. There comes Mavy with the ultimate from Echo. Dorbino trying to stay on that point. Absorbing as much damage as possible. Getting that payload to move. Doji has their work cut out for them as Pixel throws in some Bastion artillery. Depressing the enemy, trying to find an opening. Dorbino moving up, getting that Anna. Big push from U of M Flint. And a finish on the payload. Very nicely done. U of M Flint. Much, much improvement from the first game. Very, very nicely done. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what, what, what a much more cohesive and steady push that played to our strengths there. Dorbino holding that front line, making it so much more important. That, that Zarya pick definitely plays a lot better here. That's for sure. You can see here Dorbino absolutely leading in damage. However, Pixel not too far behind um, in terms of, you know, that Bastion laying that down is just, you know, unbelievably important. And you can see the damage difference. The enemy team just not really able to match up to the insane DPS that U of M Flint is currently doling out. Let's see what happens this next one here. There, there could be a lot to change about the enemy's team comp. Urbino leading the front as per usual. Edric sending a sending an orb down to the side there. Enemy team. Looking a little more deft with their push. You have them Flint holding pretty strong here. Big moves, Zorbito. Dorbino? And a team kill for U of M Flint. Really nice moves. Leading a very comfortable defense. Down to three minutes on this objective push here. U of M Flint making a strong case for this match win. Pixel, of course, maintaining that, that suppression. That ultimate is going to play into something eventually. Something. Flame tank, however. That distraction, unfortunately. Not not really not really great. That that's uh Fortunately Pixel wasn't really able to respond to that flame tank there. Flame Tank um, being the other player on the enemy team. Maybe missing those. Pixel trying to move as fast as he possibly can back into the fight. Pixel instead opts to make sure uses that, that ultimate. Getting uh, Zenyatta. As a result here, Jovan Flint 
He's gonna try and keep this payload absolutely still. Dorbino trying to keep that defense up. You have him Flint overwhelmed. Left to fight. A losing battle there. Getting ready on this next fight for the payload. As the enemy nears that first checkpoint. Dorbino taking a massive amount of damage, even with the heals from Joji and Beedrick here. Maybe he's going to look for some poke. Doji with the ultimate. And some solid kills here. Very nice impression. Getting the enemy team back. The oppression on the Sigma. Big time from Dorbino being powered up like that that enemy tank is not going to last long Heal of M Flint continuing to be the sole damage dealers as Dorbino continues his dominance maybe tries to move away yeah and that that sojourn is just going to play massively into this push. Maybe with the ult. Doji. With one last ultimate. Trying to keep Maybe alive. Trying to make sure that they can contest this point. But the enemy pushes right into that checkpoint. You have him Flint having chances here and there. Exacting that same amount of damage the enemy team is oppressing them with. Really solid escape by Dorbino. Dorbino is going to continue to lob the enemy team. You have him Flint. Absolutely suppressed to the edges. Not too much opportunity to actually push in. The Torbino finds the finds an opening. Instead finds that Bastion. Enemy Bastion alting here. Missouri State with a really tough push here. Torbino falls. And so does the rest of the team. Bedrick trying to contest there. Maybe trying to find a spot to sit in. But Missouri State still pushes through. And we are ended at a tie. The match continues. Duvon Flint. One minute and 33 seconds to push this payload. Looking like an interesting switch up here. Got the Baptiste. Got the Sigma. Maybe. On that Soldier 76, of course. Joji still following up with that that Mercy Pixel. Still on that Bastion. Alright, Dorbino is sticking with that Zarya. And this is going to be 
certainly an interesting point of view from the damage slash healing angle here with the Baptiste and 76. Is this comp going to be fast enough, going to be damage dealing enough to actually make a dent in the enemy team's defense? Pixel with the little peaks here and there. Goji on that backline. Dorbino, of course, taking all that damage. Absorbing it. Becoming the damage. Pixel and Dorbino pushing straight in. That enemy Surgeon, though. Destroying you of Influence backline. As the enemy Sigma pushes in. Dorbino. Looking dire. Still survives. Still makes through. Despite the enemy dominance there. Barbino still an oppressive force on the map. And Mavy and Pixel making sure that wide side is not left uncovered. That enemy Ana, on the other hand, does take out Pixel and does take out our Baptiste, leaving U of M Flint with no time to spare, unable to capture the objective in time. That's round three. And all that's left is for U of M Flint to keep the enemy from taking this capture point. Otherwise, it's going to be a really tough time. Obviously, this will be the end of this match if the enemy team does break through their defense. But I, of course, have hope. Hope you folks at home do. Pixel. Instead, taking out the fabled Pixel Hanzo. He is not playing Hanzo. <laughs> As he goes back, getting that Bastion. Maybe playing Ash. Now, this is going to be interesting. First, having that extra tank component is going to be... Very helpful. This this is going to be definitely a much different def uh, defense that we've seen from U of M Flint. And already off the bat, Black w Widow, Widowmaker. What? Why did I say Black Widow? <laughs> Widowmaker. Getting some, some pokes on, on Maybe there. And Pixel already held back by that. Sigma. Go of Flint. Fighting a really tough defensive battle here. Oh, Pixel. Like tracing a connect the dots. Getting it done. Edric. Killing it. Maybe on that front line, unfortunately, does fall after a bit of an overextension. And Dorbino. Making a really solid stand with Orisa here, but just gets melted by that, that Sigma. Jovan Flint only has to keep the enemy team from... Capturing a third of the point. It's so unbelievably close. Maybe continuing that assault of that Sigma. As U of M Flint continues to reclaim the point just barely. Pixel going massive. As we come into this last 10 seconds, U of M Flint will make their final stand.
Dorbino ready for it. Laying down the suppression, pushing the enemy team physically back, making an absolute fool out of the enemy team's tanks. And U of M Flint clears it. Ending it off with a draw a little unsatisfying, but a much, much needed performance from U of M Flint. Pixel just an absolute dominator in terms of holding that front line. Of course, Dor Dorbino being that tip of the spear. But Pixel laying that damage in where it counts as well. So can't, you can't understate this team. Certainly, we've seen a little bit of the bad, but course that's that's what you get hopping into the season you know this team will surely become more and more acquainted and and that's that's certainly true and of course sam in the chat pixel showing he's been here for a minute absolutely true pixel um i mean really once again uh goes without saying very Three top level plays already. Of course, this this next match, I mean anything anything can happen and this this draw um still leaves U of M Flint 0 and 1. U of M Flint has approximately two more opportunities to to make some other stands and be able to take these wins here. Missouri State finding U of M Flint very formidable after that Kings Row game. Pretty pretty bonkers. Pretty crazy. I need I need to get my uh my Spotify in here. What? Let's get some beats going. But yeah, tell me what you think in the chat. Two of them, Flint. Absolutely showing us. I mean, they, they got it. That draw certainly pushed them into a corner. Definitely did not go down without swinging. And they were still, we're still at a complete 1-1. Complete one, one. Sure, 1-0. One, oh. But really, it's like 2-1. If you think about it, the end of the day, though, definitely, definitely very excited for this next game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel the same way, Sam. Team synergy. Just, just getting some more time with this team, getting some more time playing together. It's going to be really interesting to see what this team can do. I mean, it's a, it's a great, it's a great group. Uh, an amazing set of ranks here, and I mean, I can only hope the best. Of course, um, Bot Frog here in the chat. We could just, we could just win. Which is nice. We could do that. Winning is good. Here we are. Maybe taking a, a continual front poke pick here. As we would expect. Pixel, however. Of course, very offensive. Very quick. And very punishing. Soldier 76 pick here. 
Beedrick holding that back line and healing his teammates with that Ana. And Dorbino. Big on that Winston. Massively mobile tank. And utterly defensive with that uh that that mobile mobile shield there. Dorbino getting that damage down on that diva. A lot of anti heal at play. Dorbino just barely getting out of that. Maybe making some moves. Pixel with the very clutch healing place there. U of M Flint, however, getting really, really oppressed. Pushed back into the spawn payload. About halfway through the checkpoint. This part of Dorado, of course, very difficult. Lots, lots, and lots of advantage from the enemy team. Having that high ground, having a massive vantage point. It's a hard hill to overcome, quite literally. And you can see that tracer there disrespecting Beedrick. Urbino falling to that diva. That enemy Ana really playing a massive role. Pixel barely getting out of that. A lot of close calls here. Joji unfortunately caught out. That enemy tracer is going to be very punishing. Dorbino caught into the middle, but he's nanoed. Moving straight in, Dorbino no holds barred as the U of M Flint team pushes this payload straight through the halfway point. Getting ever closer through the market to that first checkpoint, Dorbino. With that tank damage down. Maybe, of course, providing very important frontline damage there. As Yovan Flint eases into a nice position on the payload. Taking it most certainly to this first checkpoint before the enemy team can really regroup. Oh, and it looks like. Maybe I should have eaten my words there a little bit. Doji doing what they can here. Dorbino taking that diva out, but that Sombra. Sombra pick is going to really, really be offensive to. Yovan Flint's backline, making it that much more difficult to make any sort of moves in terms of getting the healers from hero to hero here. Enemy team gets that D.Va right on top of the payload. Missouri State looking very mobile. Bedrick really trying to get the heals on a Dolbino here. That diva. And Dolbino just that's that's a tough one to see there. Didn't maybe got part of that that diva right inside the uh, the force field there. Dorbino trying to exact some revenge, making some moves, getting some shots in. 
Dorbino is going to get focused. As you have been Flint has to get this diva back off that payload. You have him Flint. A little bit more comfortable here as we get to that second checkpoint. Joji ready on the ultimate. Beedrick as well. And we're seeing a very interesting damage spread here as the enemy team pushes in. Maybe, of course, trying to make a, a good defense, but the enemy tracer already destroying a lot of the backline, and that tracer sombra combo just slippery. Perhaps a little too slippery. U of M Flint. Down to 10 seconds to push that payload home. But a fragmented push. Leads to a really terrible time here. Joji. With this ultimate. Continuing to keep. As much. That that was a uh, probably a misclick on the res unfortunately. Of him Flint in a in a tough time here. Not as far of a payload push as you would expect. Um, enemy team making big moves with that backline harassment. That Sombra, that Tracer becoming uh, an absolute nuisance to our Tracer specifically. Been a little scary here. Maybe one day he'll go on mission. Overloading. You have him Flint. Now it's Looking at this really hard, just big defensive play with this Torbjorn. This is this is a really interesting pick for certain. Pixel with a really nice spray there. Diedrich. Trying to continue that oversight. That enemy tracer, though, unaccounted for. We echo trying to get some poke on Diedrich. No. On that front line. Finds himself with no teammates really to back him up. Moves back over into the side. Tries to get to that vantage point. Focuses the mercy there. As he's getting backed up. Maybe making a move back to point. Vedrick. Moving straight out of the way of that that diva there. If he taking that vantage point, that turret laying down the damage, really trying to keep this this defense like an absolute wall here Thanks. 
Doji trying to move for the revive. Fortunately, that tracer. Really oppressive. We keep seeing that tracer. That flame tank just really pushing with that tracer. Destroying each and every lifeline that U of M Flint has. Joji being one of them. Maybe really tried to go in there. And just the damage from the enemy team. Missouri State on the damage. Joji trying to find some solace here. U of M Flint does leave this uh, final checkpoint with three minutes to keep them from hitting this last one here. Bino still focusing that enemy tank AV back to that counter tracer countering tracer with a tracer not the worst idea However, U of M Flint does seem to be having a really tough time against this Ash here. A really quick switch. And the enemy Tracer is still playing big. That was quite the devolt right onto the resurrecting player. U of M Flint seemingly having this chance to keep Missouri State away from this payload as they are three meters away from taking this match. Maybe trying to keep that front line. I see an eventual alt in the future here. There it is. And a, a really lackluster effect on target. Dorbino. Moving straight in as Pixel bends the rear, taking a more vantage point approach. We must strike them down. You want Flint ready to drop onto the enemy team. Keeping that high ground all to themselves. The enemy team does opt for a Winston for this final push. Orbino just missing a few of those really, really important shots on that Kiriko. Pixel does back up with that Hanzo. Maybe keeping tabs on the soldier. And Joji just healing for their life here. Of them Flint, a solid wall and pixel, just roasting them. Goodness gracious, laying down that damage. You have him Flint on overtime. The enemy team has one last chance to try and push this in. Pixel. And you have him Flint. Keeps the defense up and gains a well-deserved victory. gracious shout out to fat whale
from Missouri State. That's a what a what a gamer tag. <laughs> wow, what a what a what a choice there on that on that last last pick pixel pulling out that Hanzo of him Flint. Ready for this escort mission here. Running the Baptiste on that back line. Pixel back on that Bastion. Getting a little scary. Dorbino on this Orisa. Pixel already going in. Oh. Okay. Good little double kill. Lucio does barely get out. Joji trying to heal the beast. As Dorbino peels into the enemy flank here. Getting some much needed damage onto the enemy front line. Giving them no room to breathe. Wow. Wow. Just an absolute display of oppression from Dorbino. A stone wall. Maybe. Nice on that backline damage. Enemy Genji, very interesting pick. Don't know how modern Genji is. You have him Flint, of course. Meanwhile, the harassing on the enemy flank gets that escort to the first checkpoint there which is of course half the battle to have flint playing a really solid game to start off here Maybe missing a few of those unfortunate pixel though. Facing the enemy, Dorbino. Dorbino! Pixel following up, but Dorbino absolutely raising the whole room. Trapping that Kiriko, trapping that Genji. The enemy team is, I mean, really, I can't say anything other than spooked. They're being on that defense. A defense of the offense. Just pushing straight into them. Continuing to be a really oppressive force on the field. Joji with a big heal on Pixel here. And maybe... Getting those nice shots and becoming what Pixel couldn't be while he was dead there. Navy absolutely on fire. Dropping some some unbelievable damage for absolute sure. That Lucio's gotten tagged an absolute butt ton. There goes Pixel. There goes U of M Flint after a gorgeous push. Dorbino's still somehow alive. But 120 meters. 120 meters in. Gorgeous, gorgeous push. Oh. That's not really a positive trade at the end of the day. Enemy Tracer getting both the damage dealer and uh, Joji there are Mercy. Making it very difficult. Robino trying to hold this front here. And Dorbino goes down as you have him Flint. 
finds a very difficult counter push and are completely challenged here by Missouri State just needing to make sure that this enemy push doesn't result in this checkpoint here it comes maybe pixel leading that front line the enemy not really having too much to uh, work with as pixel drops the artillery in and the enemy I believe has that tracer continuing to harass the back line we lose our Baptiste we lose our mercy and therefore we lose our front line Dorbino fighting for his life there's only so much that can be done after those healers go down. But I'm Flint looking for a regroup, looking for a recovery. As Missouri State does make that first checkpoint. Govan Flint still 70 meters on the enemy team. Plenty of space for the Missouri State team here to go. But that Tracer is ever, ever disturbing to U of M Flint's success here. Maybe trying to push some moves. Pixel. Acting some more damage onto the enemy team. This Baptiste shield playing big, but that that tracer still continuing to be a menace. Pixel faced with a few decisions on the field and is unable to really fight that same offensive there. Doji with the res. Vino. Unable to follow up. Does keep it contested for a little longer. But the the escort does make it to the wall here. Pixel switching back to that tried and true Hanzo. There goes that tracer. And U of M Flint has a hope for a push. That back line is finally safe pixel pushing in onto that Anna however Sigma does take out Baptiste pixel falling to the soldier and soldier and taking out our maybe Joji big big heal on the maybe but Dorbino not letting up goodness gracious as Dorbino may have single-handedly saved U of M Flint from a complete and absolute uh, embarrassing uh, crumbling push there. Here it comes, U of M Flint returning the favor. Dorbino on that front line. Does fall. Maybe. Really trying for a play there. The enemy Sojourn making moves. There's just too much damage going around. You have him, Flint. Not able to make a crack in it. We are left to regroup. Sigma from Dorbino here. Playing big. Contesting this point. Pushing onto the enemy Sigma. And ensuring a team kill for U of M Flint.
Two of them, Flint, still in the lead here by six meters, and those six meters are going to play a big part into this next team fight. You and Flint finally pushing it into enemy territory. Ensuring that this time ends with this advantage, it's going to play big. Maybe playing that counter tracer. Beedrick trying to lay it down. Flame tank, that enemy tracer just destroying an important front line there. Two of them, Flint. left to do one final counter push here as overtime brings into what seems the infinite pixel throwing some pot shots down as you have them flint posts right around the wall All they need to do is run this overtime down. Big pixel, pixel. I'm so mad I didn't get that. Pixel. Absolutely out of his mind. Here it is, thank goodness. Immediately with the multi arrow pushing with that final all clearing that right side, making sure the enemy has no space to flank. Headshot right onto the enemy tank, and with that, two of them flint, two to one. It is a best of five, I believe. Uh, Dorbino currently is uh, GG question marking. It's a best of five, yeah. You need to win one more. Just one more, guys. One more. Uh, that's that's what I, I think so. So, you and Flint in a great position. They need to keep up this momentum. Then and only then will they be able to deliver this final nail in the coffin. Here it comes, U of M Flint. Carrying a very similar team comp here. And of course, we are playing Flashpoint. A very quick capture for U of M Flint trying to move right onto this to achieve some some semblance of dominance around this objective. Maybe. Just laying that damage down already. 811 damage right off the bat. Uh... Huh? 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 Okay. Uh, there seems to be a an issue in terms of health. Um, maybe a bug with the new game mode. Uh, this is really interesting. Um, it's looking like the teams may just play.
seems to have been a uh, non-issue. This is uh, a nice code here, so... Bino keeping up that front line. There goes that Baptiste shield down. Koji laying down some damage. And some good heals here on that Moira play. To stay away from that front line as much as possible. Pixel and Dorbino absorbing most of the damage here. Here comes the next flashpoint. Few of them flint. Starts to move over. Doji. That kill on an enemy soldier, and I believe. Yes. It certainly was. Dorbino. Taking the enemies. Laying down that damage. And maybe looking for an opportunity. Moving around the side, getting that turret down. You have him flint. Moves on to point. Pixel. Laying into him. As you have him flint defense from all sides. Pixel getting thrashed about Doji great assist on that Sigma big heals on Dorvino as U of M Flint continues to tear Missouri State into pieces here this flashpoint being taken fairly quickly. 70% for U of M Flint. About to achieve another point. U of M Flint having to defend this line. Dorbino, of course, leaning up the ranks. Maybe looking for a flank. As U of M Flint gets... Another point, another flashpoint. Making the game 2 0. Pixel from the side with practically no health, still able to lay down some insane damage on what I believe to have been the soldier. Going Flint to get to that flashpoint. Really, really punching through Missouri State. Joji kind of bonkers on this heal there. Unfortunately, maybe does go down. Dorbino pushing, keeping that front line alive. As Missouri State tries to make a move, Dorbino simply just nullifies it. That synergy with the Baptiste, Orisa from Dorbino is unbelievable and these spears just keep connecting. Dorbino moving in. Right onto the flashpoint, denying this capture. Dorbino on a 15 player kill streak. As Mavy gets in close with that Torb. Dorbino taking out the Sigma. You have him Flint starts to capture this flashpoint hastily.
Doji with that that pain orb, that harm orb. Ready with that alt. Orbino getting flattened there by the sojourn. You have him flint, still a lot of fire, still a lot to go. Pixel going down and you have him flint leaving Missouri State to take one flashpoint here. Not the end of the world. U of M Flint still up one, but definitely plenty to go here in terms of the game. Navy with the shots. Gorgeous. Torbino working with Pixel. What an absolute ultimate. Pixel. I'm tired of saying your gamer tag, Pixel. But you are just bonkers. Here comes that flashpoint. Pixel pushing in. Doji making some moves. Really, really nice. Nice angle there. Remaining to be unpunished. Playing right behind Dorbino. The enemy Sigma is going to make a move. Dorbino. Being the last one alive. At least it seems like it. Doji with that support. But Dorbino and Georgie. Joji both go down here. Plenty of time to take this flashpoint back. You have Flint fighting around this rotunda here. Dorbino pushing right in. Grouping the enemies with that ultimate, taking out that Lucio. Big, big kill on the enemy healer. Moira does escape Dorbino's clutches. Maybe continues to lay the damage down, but Missouri State just left in pieces. U of M Flint recaptures the flashpoint as they move. To make a nice frontline defense here. Hello? Torbino staying solid on that point. Keeping the enemies from completely contesting. Using that solo ult. That Lucio is all that's left. And it's down to Torbino. Torbino. Oh my goodness gracious. Dorbino! What a Chad! Playing out of his mind. What a gorgeous way to end off this match. Truly amazing. What a great way to start the season off. Missouri State GG's. Thank you to U of M Flint Overwatch for giving us such an amazing gameplay there.